Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake, and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In today's tutorial, based on requests that I got from everyone, I'm actually going to do a uh, beauty retouching walkthrough. This is a fashion photo rather than a stock photo, and this photograph was taken by a good friend of mine named John Covington. You can check out his photography work at jcov.net. Um, and we're going to be using this instead of a stock photo today, and I'm going to not just do a layers breakdown, but I'm going to actually walk you through the process for creating this image and um, dealing with the various parts of it that we did, which includes um, the dodging and burning, which you've seen in a previous tutorial of mine, blemish removal, um, as well as levels and curves, all things that I've done in previous tutorials. Uh, I'm not going to cover the masking just because, again, it takes a little while, as you guys saw in the Photoshop masking tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and trash these layers and then we can just go ahead and get started with the actual retouching of this photo and we'll take it from there. Alright, so you can see our original photo and you can see our mask and aside from the background being gone there's no real discernible difference. So, what are we going to do in terms of retouching and correcting this? Well, one of the first things we're going to go ahead and do, so we're clear here, is deal with the actual uh, blemishes on the model including the areas under the eyes um, and a few other things. So let's go ahead and zoom in for that. Alright, and as you can see, um, again, it's a very beautiful model, but we do have a few things that we're going to want to go ahead and take care of here, and we're going to be using the healing brush for that. Whoops. Right. So go ahead and create a new blank layer. You only need one. And with your healing brush, make sure that you have for the sample all layers selected. That's going to be very important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. And you'll notice the area right here under the eyes. There's a part beside the bridge of the nose. We're going to select that as our source. And then we're going to smooth out that area right there under the eyes. And that worked out just fine. And we'll just take care of any little blemishes in the area while we're at it. You'll want to source a clean piece of skin and then just select wherever you are getting rid of any of your blemishes. You'll want to ideally make sure it has similar coloration and texture. Alright, so again, we're going to select an area of the bridge there under the nose. Go ahead to the spot under the eyes. Smooth that out. And again, and you can clearly see what a big difference that makes. World of difference. All right, so that was our blemishes. So we'll just go ahead and. And at this point, you don't have to um, keep these separate if you want. But if you do want to keep them to go back, you can just merge above and deselect those. You can also go to the history panel and do a snapshot so that you have a save state there in case you lose it with your actions over here. So, okay, that part of this is good to go. 
let's go ahead and increase the contrast of this image by adjusting our levels. If you pull this level um, all the way from the left, you'll see that it increases the um, darker tonal values. The middle one handles pretty much everything in between. And the one on the far right will increase the light areas. And you'll just do this to suit the tonal range that you want or whatever contrast you want to create in the image to just make it look less flat. And you can see what a difference that makes. And let's take a look at the original. Very flat. Still has our blemishes. This one pops considerably more. All right. Now let's go ahead and adjust our curves. Now you saw in um, our previous tutorial um, a while back that you can do a lot of different things with the curves and it's more of an art than a science and it's a matter of creating the right look and the right tonal values and you can see that there's a lot that can be done here. So let's go ahead and get started with the reds and see what we can make here. Increasing those doesn't really do anything positive for us. It makes her entirely too red. So let's try pulling some of that back just a little bit and see what we can do with that. That looks good. Green usually um, affects the brightness um, more than anything else. And um, in terms of tonal range, it's closer to yellow than the other colors. So you want to be careful with that and you want to consider it when you're dealing with your model and again some of this will depend on what the other all the overall um, skin tones of your model naturally are and would be but you can also use this to create different artistic looks so again we do have a tutorial that's just about the curves tool where you can focus on that but in this case um, working here with the blues is going to give us more of what we want and that looks pretty good and let's just go ahead and increase some of this here with our master control. And that looks good. Subtle difference, but it's important. And even though this wasn't in um, our previous image, um, just because I can, I'm actually going to use a gradient map here to increase some of the overall intensity of this. And I think a black and white gradient map might actually do the trick, but let's see what else we can come up with just to be interesting. We'll try a couple of different things and we'll just see what looks good. And again, with beauty and fashion, um, that is kind of the way you go or par for the course. You just kind of have to see what fits and what looks good and what adds value to your image. And whatever we do, we kind of probably want to do it at about 25 or 30 percent. And let's try some different things. That doesn't look bad. That certainly doesn't look bad at all. And you can try different blend modes. I usually go with either a soft light or an overlay. You can use varying levels of intensity with them. Um, usually it's good to be under 50% because when you don't, it ends up overly done. And... Yeah, that adds a little bit of warmth back in there. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here. Now, you've seen this in a previous tutorial, but if we really want to, we can make these eyes pop. And we can do that fairly easily in any number of ways. We can either do 
a color layer here on a blank layer, um, which is not what we're going to do. We're going to actually go into quick mask mode, use a brush, Then we're going to use hue and saturation. Whoops. with your hue and saturation layer selected we can affect the color of these eyes as we see fit All right, that looks pretty good. And of course, finally, dodge and burn. Using Shift F5, we'll fill with 50% gray. Set it to overlay. Select our dodge tool. And just remember that if you hold down Alt, it automatically alternates to Burn. And we'll just go ahead and bring out a little more detail in the hair here with the Dodge tool. Bring out some more of our model's jewelry here. Just highlight some of the areas that already are well lit and a few that aren't quite as well lit. Alternate over to the burn tool and you can use either um, shift O for that or you can just hold down the alt button and we'll just create some definition here. And let's lighten up the whites of the eyes just a little bit, but not blow them out. And we'll darken these eyebrows a bit.
and that all looks actually quite good. And I think we're done here. If you look at the original, and then you look at what we have, it actually looks pretty good. And the one thing I will do, though, is I'm not entirely sold on this gradient map. So we'll take it away. And that actually looks really good. That looks a lot better. All right. Well, that's it for um, this photograph and for our beauty slash fashion retouching. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next Photoshop CC tutorial video. All right. Thanks for watching.